No, nope, maybe he is dead. Ah, okay. That actually went by a little bit easier than you would have figured, or at least I figured. Back to Norman Jaden. I like everyone's like, oh, John's only got a few more hours left. But there's still at least a good, like, two inches, 2.5 inches of rain left for him before he drowns. Which, I mean, isn't a lot. Tuba trips came. Got it in my pocket. What the fuck, dude? Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Don't think I'm gonna miss him. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. See? Better have a word with the guy on the bulldozer. Goddamn rain. Soaking wet. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him a few questions. Can you stop that thing? Let's not piss off the guy with the forklift. Nope, he's not in anymore. We're good now. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Can we go inside? <laughs> Mad Jack, a.k.a. Jackson Neville. This guy's got a criminal record as long as my arm. Better be careful. This is one fucked up sort of place. I'll question Neville and get the hell out of here. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. I'm the FBI, dude! Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. Yeah, let's look around, huh? Better have a look with Ari. You never know. I'll find the clues on my own. Ah, what do we got here? Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jacks. <laughs> Armed man! Dangerous person! Holy shit. I don't trust this guy. <laughs> That's it? Merry Christmas! I thought it was gonna have, like, a fucking safe or something behind it. The blue Chevrolet is my only lead. This thing should be sending out a constant pulse anyway. Uh-oh, what do we got here? Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? Uh-oh. How convenient that one of the car tracks out of many is from our killer's car, possibly. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack's size. And it goes underneath where this car currently is. Isn't that suspicious? Hmm. Not the car I'm looking for. What's on this table? Something suspicious is on it. Or maybe nothing suspicious is on it, okay. 
Harry coming. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Uh-oh. Why is that? Was one of the kids drowned here? Woohoo! Few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks, no doubt about it. The killer's car was here. Also, you know, pollen just kind of flocking all over the place to this area. Suspicious, man. Real suspicious. Yep, can confirm Jackson Neville was in this area. Maybe Jackson Neville is the origami killer. Nah, that'd be silly. Where the fuck do these little things go? We, we have no thoughts being said. That's probably just going to be fingerprints again. Still just Jackson Neville. God. Killer never touched anything inside this area. Or maybe he did. Just with gloves on. Maybe I have to go up to Jackson Neville and question him. Because my character's not saying anything else. And I'm not really finding any other evidence that we haven't already looked at. Like, we've seen all the fucking finger prints and all that stuff. Uh-oh. Hold up. What about this? DNA. Blood? Blood. Now why is there blood here? Uh-oh. Whose blood is it? The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. Ooh. Dude. Dude. Mad Jack. Why are you? Oh. One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. I'm the FBI, dude. Fuck, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> Fuck, he's gonna kill me, Tripsum. No, not my virtual reality. I was about to say, as long as no other motion control things happen, we should be able to dodge just fine. Get the fuck up, we gotta get my gun! We can shoot this guy! I approve of it! Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Shoot him in the fucking leg. Impress. Damn! You out of your motherfucking mind, man? Oh shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, stop. Enough. <laughs> I'm starting to remember some things. You, you be cool. Uh, I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash. And I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named... Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be... Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. They letting you dope heads in the FBI now? God bless America. <laughs> now 
I'm going to give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Favo. Permanently. I don't know if I just died due to a single fucked up button press. It showed R1, and it was apparently a hold down prompt, and uh, I just fumbled the goddamn drug out of my hand by accident. Okay! Oh shit! <laughs> the glove box. I should try to get that open. <laughs> Fucking drugs! Goddamn withdrawal! Oh sweet, I got the gun! Oh, I'm gonna use it on the cuffs. Climb, dude! Climb! Oh, your ass is totally going to fucking jail, dude. Oh, God, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Come on! Okay, that was just a straight up miss. I was gonna say, I don't think you can win a battle of strength versus this guy, but we just fucking completely missed in the first place. <laughs> I'm shaking my controller! Oh! Oh, the motion controls are gonna get me killed, man. Norman Jane with the FBI! I can fight! I gotta get my gun. If you just hear me, like, me just spazzing the fuck out with my controller, it's me trying to deal with the motion controls. No, you're a motherfucker. You just tried to fucking murder me with- I, I would've just sent you to jail. That's not killing you, man. However, if you want to have us fuck up and have you get sent underneath the bulldozer, we can arrange that. If Norman Jane gets his shit together at some point. Aha! It was self defense. I'm Norman Jane with the FBI. God. I wonder what would have happened if I had successfully taken the drugs. Well, you know what? It's a good thing I didn't take the drugs because I can continue staying within... Well, with... withdrawal. Shelby, it's real suspicious that you're the only motherfucker in the story so far who has a typewriter. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple years. 
Uh, I build up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. The trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm if I were her, I'd be like, nope. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? Sure, go for guest. it. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. I'll get started right away, so I'll be ready when she finishes her shower. Some nerve, that girl. <laughs> Some nerve. <sighs> Poor Manfred. We'd just been toast in the old days. Didn't bring him much luck. A strange seeing Carter after all these years. Hasn't changed a bit. Still a twisted fuck. The old days. Looks like someone else's life to me now. Uh, I wonder what would happen if we hadn't gone to the police station. I, I have no idea where the story's gonna go. And what characters I'm probably gonna lose or maybe not lose. I don't know. What are their fates gonna be? We still have plenty of hours left in the game. I'm so used to like really short story based games, the ones that are just like, okay, it was like three hours and we're done. But it was lasting a while. You know, sometimes I wish I was a uh, egg kind of guy. Here, eggs are good for you, but I just. Eh. It makes me want to throw up if I if I taste it. Oh god, I'm gonna fuck this up. No, I'm not trying to leave the room. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on scrambling the eggs. I don't know how to tell when it's ready. Hopefully the game lets me know, otherwise this might just end up burning. Egg should be ready by now. I think that's the cue. <laughs> All right, got these. This mishmash of yellow goop, also known as scrambled eggs. Hope she enjoys. She perfectly comes out too. Nice. Right as the food's done. Enjoy this scrambled I eggs. Liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, Small, less than 500. The alibi of 30 clients, one by one. That's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. But Lauren, wait. Oh, what about the eggs? I perfectly cooked them. Look at that. It's just steaming and hot and awesome. And then there's... And you just ruined that. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Yeah, but my name could be on both lists. Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but... Yeah, I suppose. You know, I have a typewriter right next to you. Me. You're, you're gonna find th him. This is gonna go badly for you.
Oh my god, we discovered something. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. John Shepard's a pretty generic name. Unless you're the savior of the you universe. Up, or the galaxy. <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. I don't know the name of the person. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for... Er, well, don't worry about it. I can manage alone. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, in pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. Maybe he hasn't been dead. I hate cemeteries. I depress the hell out of them. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. I'm just gonna follow her because they still haven't told me the fucking name, so I'm really just walking around pointlessly. Where did Lauren go? She's all the way on the other side. Lauren! Lauren, I don't know the names of the people! It just, it's conveniently not something I know. Children plot. Okay, so... It should be over here. That's depressing. Children plot.